So, good morning. Okay. So, welcome to the course unit 3, which is the organized crime structure around the globe. So, ano ba yung topics natin to be discussed? We have the Italian and Italian-American organized crime, British organized crime, Russian organized crime, Turkish organized crime, Chinese, Japanese, the outlaw motorcycle gang, and the organized crime in the Philippines. Okay, ito muna. Organized uh, crime structure around the globe. Ito muna, ha? So, the comparative perspective in organized crime. Mafia. Okay, alam niyo yung mafia? Diba, lagi nyo na-encounter ang mafia? Mafia is the term used to describe a number of criminal organizations around the world. So, halos lahat ng mga ng OCG, tinatawag sila mafia. Since yun kasi yung first word na ginamit nila. The first organization to bear the label was the Sicilian ma Mafia. Or it is uh, what is based in Italy. So, known to its members as La Cosa Nostra. Diba? So, in sum, okay, mafia means protections against arrogance of the powerful, remedy to any damage, sturdiness of body strength, and serenity of spirit, and the best and ex exquisite of part, part of life. So, apparently, okay, ganito ha. Apparently, Sicilian Arabic derived from terms meaning to protect and to act as guardian. Yun ang meaning talaga ng mafia. So, a friend or companion, brotherhood, okay? To defend, preservation, power integrity, strength, and condition that designates the remedy of damage and ill. So, ano ba yung mismong ibig sabihin ng mafia? So, mafia, okay, is a kind of organized crime being active not only in several illegal fields but also, okay, intending or tending to exercise sovereignty functions normally belonging to public authorities, okay, over a specific territory. Again, when we say mafia, okay, hindi lang po siya nagbe sa Italy. Parang ginamit ang mafia around the world, okay, to, uh, to give name to those uh, OCG. So, mafia, sabi niya, accordingly, mafia is the acronym of Morta alla Francia. Italia Anela. Again, mafia is an acronym of Morta alla Francia, Italia Anela, Italian for that to France, or this is Italy's crime. Okay? That to France, or this is Italy's crime. Well, some say, okay, however, that the original name of mafia was Cosa Nostra, or yung sa Sicilian, di ba? Or our thing, sabi nga nila. At one point in their history, they even called their group as the Honor Society, and their members are tinatawag na mafiosi or mafioso, as men of honor or made men. In Sicily, in Sicily mafia also means manly. Okay po, again, mafia, acronym niya is Morta alla Francia Italia Anela, which means that to France or this is Italy's cry. Okay, next, Omerta. So, what is Omerta? Omerta is a code of silence and secrecy that forbids mafiosi from betraying their comrades to the authorities. Diba ang Omerta, na-discuss naman yan last week. So, ibig sabihin, code of silence and secrecy, it means... Um, they forbids or parang ini-stop niya na uh, lokohin or uh, tawag dito um, magtaksil sila within their uh, organized organization. So, non-cooperation with authorities, self-control in the face of adversity, neither the government to be trusted, or the foundation of the entire mafia is what we call the respect. Respeto po. So, fear is the engine and the Money is the fuel. Tignan nyo, fear is the engine. Ang nagpapagana talaga sa organized crime is yung, ano nila, uh, yung, I'm sorry, ang nagpapagana talaga sa organized crime nila, yung fuel, it is the money. Fear naman, ito yung parang nagmamanage engine nila. So, but longevity of the mafia as an enterprise is built upon abiding and uncommon sense of respect. Okay, so the penalty for transgression is death, and relatives of the turncoat may be also murdered. So, for example, member ka na ng mafia, ng mga organized crime na yan. Ano mangyayari niyan? Death. 
papatayin ka nila kapag nagtaksil ka sa kanila. And the relatives of the turncoat may be also murder. Pag nagtaksil ka sa kanila, hindi lang ikaw ang papatayin nila, pati yung pamilya mo. So, mafiosi generally do not associate with police. So, aside perhaps from corrupting, corrupting individual officers as necessary. So, for instance, ito ha, mafioso will, call, will not call the police when he is a victim of crime. O for example, meron kayong tropang puchugumi. Tapos, oh, sabi na natin si Rowela, eh, member ng tropang puchigumi na yan, bigla siyang na-involved sa crime. Okay? Which is not related dun sa mga or, uh, illegal activities na ginagawa ng ating mga organized crime ng mafioso o ganyan. So, ano mangyayari? For instance, a mafioso, mafioso or mafiosi ang tawag po sa member ng mafia, will not call the police when he is a victim of crime. Anong gagawin niya? He is expected to care of the problem himself. So, hindi mo na idadamay pa yung organization mo. Okay? To do otherwise would undermine his reputation as a capable protector of others. So, and his enemies may see him as weak and vulnerable. So, ibig sabihin, hindi mo na ilalaglag yung mga kasama mo. Hindi mo sila sasabihin sa polis. Nakuha? Kapag member ka ng mafiosi or mafioso. According to the legend, okay, the word mafia was first used in the Sicilian Revolt. So, ang tinatawag nila is the Sicilian Vespers. It is against the rules of Capetian House of Anjou on March 30, 1282. So, in this legend, mafia is the acronym again of Morte alla Francia, Italia Anela. Okay, Italian for death, death to France, Italy Christ. So, however, habang tumatagal, this version is now discarded by most serious historians. Okay, these are the organizational structure family ng mga mafia. We have Capo Familia. Ibig sabihin, it is the family's boss. Okay? The first in command. We also have the capo baston or soto capo. The underboss or parang pinaka vice president nila. And then we have the consigliere. Ito naman, the senior advisor as act as screener or third man in command. Itong consigliere, ito yung parang kanang kamay or parang secretary ni capo familia. Yung pinaka boss nila. And then we have this capo regimes. We are, uh, ito yung supervised crews made up of soldiers. So, ito yung pinaka leader naman ng mga troops nila. And then we have the umuni di honore. It is the made men, men of honor, soldiers, soldato, or skrerista. So, ano po ba yan, ma'am? Ganto, ayan. Ito si boss. Ano pangalan niya ulit? Siya si Capo Familia. Again, si boss is known as Capo Familia. And then we have Capo Baston or Soto Capo, the vice president. Ito yon. Siya si underboss. Okay, yung vice president nila. And then we have Consigliere, which is sabi niya, third in command, senior advisor, secretary, ganyan, or parang kanang kamay. It, ito siya. So, mauna muna to, ito yung first in, li first in line nila. Then second, ito yung pangalawa. As ito yung pinakamataas sa kanila, pangatlo. Si Consigliere. And then, itong mga lieutenant na to, ayan, yung mga leader ng mga troops nila, ang tawag dyan is Capo Regimes. Okay? Meron muna silang Capo Regimes. Ayan, yung mga lieutenant yan. And then, soldiers, ang tawag naman sa kanila ay Umine di Honore. Nakakasunod po ba kayo? Okay. Ma, bakit ganun? Meron ba silang ganito uh, mga... Troop, lead, uh, troop leader, mga kapo regime. Siyempre, kasi, hindi naman isa, iba-ibang uh, operation sila, laba? So, meron silang soldiers for, for example, spy. Meron silang soldiers, for example, magnanakaw. Meron silang soldiers para sa gantong specific task. If naalala nyo sa discussion natin last week, ang mga organized criminal groups, meron silang specific task. Diba? So, yan ang orga, organizational structure family ng isang OCG ng mafia. Buti pa sila, no? Napaka-organize silang ganyan. Okay, Italian Mafia. Okay, before, um, sino na yung uh, nakasign dito? Okay. Please show your ano muna. Okay, sige. Pakishow po. Ikaw ang mag-present na. Bago ko ituloy ang aking discussion, mag-present ka muna. The group of in Italian mafia. Okay po, ma'am. 
video presentation po yung ginawa namin. Okay, sige. Paki-present. Pe-present ka na ba kay Mark? Mag-share screen na po. Okay, sige. Do you have any questions habang pinaprepare ni Ray Mark Valencia yung kanya? Do you have any questions po? Ah, wait lang na. Ah, wait Mag-share your screens ka lang sa phone. Kasi delete siya niyan. Okay. Ay, di siya na-upload sa, ano, sa YouTube. Raymark, Mr. Raymark. Hindi siya na-upload sa YouTube. Naka-upload. Ah, sige ako. Nag-upload pa lang po, ma'am. Ah, nag-upload pa lang. Okay, sige. Ikaw na muna. Do you have any questions abang nagpe-prepare si ano si Valencia? So wait lang natin. Hindi pa ba tapos yung upload niya kung ano, i-share ano ako na lang mag-share screen open ko yung YouTube para mas malaki na nilang makita kaysa sa phone. 36% pa lang, ma'am. Hala, o, oh, sige. Try mo nang i-play dyan. Magdano na po ako dito sa phone, ma'am? Yes, i-share mo na bago ako mag-discuss, syempre. I-play mo na. Unable to play during call. Opo. Bakit kaya... Kasi dapat mauna, kasi ganito yun eh, dapat mauna kayo tapos akong susunod. Kasi di ba pinag-usapan naman natin yan na ipipresent nyo. Hindi pa ba siya natap, hindi ah, pa ba siya ano? Okay? Transfer ko lang po sa laptop. Ah, okay, sige. So, ganun ha, ang mangyari niyan is, uh, kayo muna magpipresent and then ilalagay ko yung aking discussion. Okay po. May quiz po ba after niyan? Yes, kung meron tayong time. Okay, kung meron tayong time. Kasi, nag-expect na ako, baka mag-extend tayo ng uh, one hour. So, baka baka mag-sobra tayo sa one hour. So, kung kanwari, for example, di ba, ang allow, allotted lang naman sa inyo is one hour lang talaga. And, wala na, kung nakadata lang kayo, okay? Kung nakadata lang naman kayo, or sinasabi nyo, wala na kayong load, ma'am, wala na po kaming load, ganun, you can leave. Okay? You can leave po. Basta pag umabot na ng 9am ito, is mag-screen siya ta kulit. So, counted pa rin. So, kung yung mga nagre-reklamo, if gusto nilang mag-report, ganyan, ganyan, you can leave. Okay po? So, hindi, uh, at least naka-record naman itong discussion na to. Whenever you, you just want to continue, if meron na kaming enough load or data, then panoorin nyo na lang. Okay po? So, I'm expecting kasi na baka ka mag-extend tayo ng 1 hour dahil nga pinag-present ko muna kayo. Okay. Kerry na ba siya, Mr. Ray Mark? Iba po. Okay, sige. Habang hinihintay natin siya, nakikita niyo pa rin ba yung PowerPoint ko? Hindi na. Hindi na po. Hindi na po, ma'am. Ay, ito. Yan, kita niyo ba? Opo. Okay, habang hinihintay natin siya. Okay. Italian Mafia or La Cosa Nostra is also known as the Mafia. 
the mob or the outfit. Bakit kaya outfit? Ayan, no? Kita nyo naman sa mga suit nila. Actually, mga yung parang ang mayayaman pa sila or parang nakita mo na parang business sila ganyan corporate. So, it is a collection of Italian-American organized families that has been operating since 1920. So, the loose associations of Sicilians in the Middle Ages form against the Spanish. So, organized crime is direct option of a criminal society. So, the mafia that the first originated, okay? Again, the mafia that the first originated in Italy and Sicily and now controls racketeering in major U.S. cities. So, ang Italian mafia na yan, or yung tinatawag natin La Cosa Nostra, nag uh, nagsimula talaga yan sa Sicily. And then, um, and parang nag-merge lang siya sa Amerika. So, and then, it is made up of a national syndicate of 25 or so Italian dominated crime families that call themselves as La Cosa Nostra. So the major families have total membership of 1,700. Ganyan kalaki ang grupo ng mga Italian mafia or Italian American mafia. Made men, sabi nga natin, who have been inducted into organized crime families and another 17,000 associates. Isipin nyo ha, ito mga made men talaga na to, ito yung mga original members na mafiosi or mafioso na tinatawag natin. Itong another 17,000 associates na to, uh, parang naka, uh, hindi sila talaga member, parang kapartner lang nila. So, New York City contains the five families. May five families kasi sa mafia. And, nakabi sila sa New York. Ano yung five families na yun na kilalang kilala? The Gambino, Colombo, or former, formerly known as Profashi. Then we have the Luchis, Bonano, and the last one is Genovese family. So, name after the founding fathers. Okay. Some of them, okay, kasi binasa ko yung kanyang history. Some of them, kaya ganyan yung mga apelido na ipangalan nilang family. It, is, uh, it was named kung sino man ang tumatang. Pero some of them then hindi naman dun nakapace. So, in contrast, Chicago contain a single mob organization called The Outfit. Again, the outfit. So, which also influenced the rocketeering in such cities as Milwaukee, Kansas City, and Phoenix. So, rules of American mafia. Okay, again, these are the rules of American mafia. Number one, always show respect to those who can command it. So, yung ginagawa niya. They always show respect. Kanina nga, di ba, sabi niya, respect is yung pinaka-foundational values na meron sila. Report any failure to show respect to one's patrons immediately. Okay, kapag nag, merong nagkulang or nagkaroon ng palpak sa trabaho mo, kailangan mong i-report yun. So, violence must be used. So, again, these are the rules of American Mafia. Violence must be used even if only limited type to ensure respect. Never ask for surnames. Hindi po nila tinatanong yung mga apelido. Okay? Never ask for surnames. Never resort to violence in a dispute with a member or associate of another family. For example, nagkaroon ng clash itong si Raylan Bumanlag and Reynaldo Santos. Okay? Never sila, kahit dahil, dahil magkapatiran sila, okay? Magkapatiran sila sa mafia, sa, Lacos, sa American mafia na yan, hindi sila pwedeng ano, uh, magkakaroon ng violence sa isa't isa. Okay, sa member ng, or kahit yung member ng family nila. So, never resort to or even threaten violence in a member of your family. So, nire-respeto lang nila, hindi, nire-respeto na hindi lang ikaw, pati yung pamilya mo. And then, do not use the telephone except to arrange a meeting place. Hindi sila gumagamit ng telephone unless uh, magkakaroon sila ng ano, um, they will arrange to a meeting place, mag-usap sila doon, preferably in code. Meron pa silang code, ayan. From which you will then travel to place to discuss business. So, may diba meron din sa investigation, sa na, uh, foundation, uh, foundations of investigations nyo, na-discuss yan, yung mga, um, where, uh, yung mga intelligence, diba? Next, avoid mentioning specific when discussing business, for example, names, dates, and places beyond those absolutely necessary for understanding. Ang pag-uusapan lang nila, kapag nag-meeting silang ganyan, kung ano lang yung topic nila. Bawal silang mag-input ano, mag ng iba. Next, keep your mouth shut. Kaya nga, diba, meron silang code of Amera. Keep your mouth shut, you hear. Anything you see stays with you in your head. Do not talk about it. Parang kapag yung rule natin ng what you see, what you hear, when you live, live it here. Next, do not ask necessary questions. 
Again, so the amount of information give to you is all you need to carry out your instructions. So parang kapag nag-meeting sila, yun na yun. Tapos kung anong sinabi lang sa'yo, oo ka lang. So bawal kang magbanggit ng kung sino-sino man or wala kang uh, itatakil sa kanilang iba. So never engage in homosexual activities. So wala pong mga bakla sa kanila. Ano? So bawal yung mga bakla dito. Next! If your patron, okay, if your patron arranges for two parties to work together, he assumes responsibility for arbitrating any disputes between the parties. Next, so the boss can unilaterally direct violence, yung pinaka-boss nila, including murder against any member of his family, but he cannot engage in the murder for high. That is a make a profit from murder. So ang boss nila, Diba yung tinatawag natin kapo, yung pinakamataas, yung pinakaboss, pwede niyang papatay. Okay? Ang sino mang member ng mafia, ng mafia na yan, yung mga lang ng lakos na sana yan ng American mafia. Okay? Pero ipapapatay niya yan doon sa ano, sa mismong kapwa, uh, doon sa mga soldiers din yan na kapwa nila members. Pero hindi sila pwedeng mag-engage doon sa murder for hire. Yung tatawag sila ng ibang tao or uh, mag-engage siya ng ibang tao para ipapatay yung isang membro. Ang papatay sa'yo, sa, uh, sa mga ganyang organization, yung kapwa mo member kapag nagtaksil ka. Nakapapanood nyo naman yan sa mga movies, ba? Diba? That is make a profit from murder. Next, the boss cannot use violence against member or close associate of another family without prior consultation with that family's boss. Okay, hindi niya pwedeng um, papatay yung anumang associate dun sa another family unless nakipag-usap muna siya dun sa pinaka-boss nung isang family na yon. Next, the principal form of security in the American Mafia is an elaborate system of referral and vouching. So, vouching for someone who turns out to be an informant or undercover officers entails the death penalty. So, tingnan nyo kapag um, yung isang member ng Mafia is uh, na naging informant or undercover, ang nangyari, ang pinaka, ang pinaka tawag dito, parusa sa kanila is death penalty. Penalty. So, those are the rules of American Mafia. Again, yung kaninang nabangkit na five families, nakabis sila sa New York. Do, okay, do nag-originate po sila sa Italian Sicily ma ma Mafia. Okay ka na, Barry? Mark Valencia? Hi, Mr. Ray Mark. Hello? Okay, again, ulitin ko lang po ano kasi hindi siya na hindi siya nag okay, nag-send ng daw ng link si. Nag-send ka ng link nak. Naka-upload na. Okay, sige. Okay, wait. Okay. Italian and Italian American Organized Group. Italian Mafia, La Cosa Nostra. The original Italian American Mafia crimes families which have Dominated organized crime in America. Since 1931, five families of brand New York's Italian American Mafia: the Bonano, Colombo, Gambino, Henobis, and Lucis. Frank Kelly was reputedly the head of Gambino family. He was reportedly married to Rosaria in Zerlo, who was herself related to Sicilian in Zerlo family. The in Zerlo fled Sicily. For the U.S. in 1980s, after losing a war with the rival families, Kali was also related to Gian Gambino, once leader of family Sicilian faction. Another link that might explain his rapid rise to leadership to the mob. Within these families, individuals work together on crews that are led by a capo or captain who is responsible for supervising the criminal activities of his crew and providing them with support and protection. The crews are composed of made members called soldiers and trusted non-members called associates. In order for an associate to become a made member of the family, the associate must be of Italian descent and has demonstrated the ability to generate income for the family and the willingness to commit acts of violence. Above the capos are the highest ranking members, the boss or acting boss, the underboss, and the consigliere, or counselor, who oversee the family. Namin is the Colombo. Yung Colombo ay ang pinakamahinang, ay pinakamahina sa lahat ng five families. 
Yung pangalan na Colombo ay kinuha sa apelyido ni Joseph. Si Joseph ilang beses nang nakasuhan sa kasong fracturing. Genovese, founded by Jose the Boss, Maseria, and Charlie Lucky Luciano, named after Vito Genovese, ran for years by the old father. Vincent the Chin Gigante, who feigned insanity, appears to be the most organized family and remains powerful, strict adherence to the code of Omerta. Bonano, founded by Salvatore Maranzano and named after Joseph Bonano, FBI agent calling himself Donny Brasco had infiltrated their ranks. In 2004, boss Joseph Masino, who previously brought the family back to respectable stature among the families and back on the commission, became a government informant. Lucese, founded by Gaetano Tommy Reyna and named after Tommy Lucese. Dumako naman tayo sa karakteristik ng organization. Isa sa mga karakteristik nila ay they are tribes on supplying illegal goods and services for which a large number of people are willing to pay. And isa din sa mga karakteristik nila is to make money. And syempre, pag nagawa nila yon, members also gain a sense of pride, power, and protection. ba? Diba? At yung susunod na karakteristik nila, meron din silang uh, organizational structure, katulad ng sa mga legal business, kung sa mga legitimate business, meron tinatawag na chief executive officer, then vice president. Sa mafia din, meron silang tinatawag na boss, underboss, mga kapo, ba? Diba? At isa pa sa mga karakteristik nila is ginagawa nilang ano, extremely loyal and committed yung mga members nila. They go through initiation rituals, take oaths, and swear to secrecy. At isa, last sa mga karakteristik nila, yung punishment for members who stray my demotion to lower rank or depending on, on their offense. And sometimes, naglilid ito sa death. The main point of five families of Italian Mafia is only to make or to earn money. Um, the five families of Italian Mafia, um, sila yung mga gumagawa ng mga illegal activities sa Amerika. One of the best example is extortion. When we say extortion, ito yung paninigil sa mga tao or pagpilit na ibigay ang kanilang pera na may kasamang pagbabanda. So, ayun nga po. Sabi po dito, yung pagiging isang official na kasapin ng Mafia, may ginagawa po silang ritual, yung freaking his finger. Upang gumuhit ng dugo at may hawak na isang nasusunog na larawan ng patron saint habang nanunumpa ng katapatan. Tapos, yung pagiging kasapi daw ng mapi ay sinasadyo upang maging isang pangako sa habang buhay at ang bawat mafiosi ay sumumpa na sundin ang mga umerta. Ang pinakamalagang kod ng karapatan at katahimikan, inaasahan ding sundin ang mafiosi ay ang iba pang mga patakaran. Kasama na ang pag hindi pag-atake sa isa't isa at huwag kailanman manloko sa kasintahan o asawa ng ibang miyembro. Okay. Okay, nakita niyo ba yung PowerPoint ko? Again, nakita niyo? Yes, ma'am. So, thank you, Group 1. So, ito naman, we have the... Oh, ito, itutuloy ko lang, ha? Italian Maf American Mafia, or La Cosa Nostra. Tama naman yung report nila. Do, dadagdagan lang natin para maging specific yung inyong kaalaman. So, five families we have again, Bonano, Colom uh, Bonano Colombo, Juvenis, Cambino, and Lucis. So, the five families, tama naman sinabi na doon, si Colombo, it was named after Joseph Colombo and the weakest among the five pillars. Kaya siya naging weakest kasi most of their members are uh, nakulong within the federal racketeering and most of their members ay naging mga witnesses doon sa crime na nangyari nila, ay nagawa nila. Then, it is considered that Colombo is the youngest of the five families. Okay? You better listen sa ating discussions kasi kung di man tayo abutan ng time para mag-quiz kayo ngayon, eh, sa, uh, sa susunod niyan, the first meeting is quiz muna agad bago discussion. Next, we have Bonano. 
Okay? The Bonano was founded by Salvatore Maranzano, pero hindi po sa kanya pinangalanan. Pinangalanan sa kanya ay pina, pinangalanan siya kay Joseph Bonano. So, this is the FBI agent calling himself Donny Brasco had infiltrated their ranks. So, ginamit niya si Donny Brasco parang ano, uh, maging FBI agent. So, in 2004, both Joseph Masino, who previously brought the family back to respectable stature among the families and back on the commission, became a government in Informant. Next, we also have the Gambino family, the most powerful crime family. If we have Colombo as the uh, weakest, Gambino naman was uh, noted as the most powerful crime family. So, it was founded by Salvatore di Aquila and it was named after Carlo Gambino. Okay. And then, the National Basketball Association, the NPA, Uh, NBA, I'm sorry, referee Tim Donaghy said that Gambino associate James Batista used Donaghy's knowledge of NBA games to pick winners in illegal sports gambling. So, si Gambino family din na to is napasok nila yung NBA, di ba? Tignan nyo. Uh, magkar para magkaroon ng illegal sports gambling. Then, we also have the Luchis family. It was founded by Gaetano, Tommy Reyna, and it was named after Tommy Luchis. Then, we also have this Genevieve family, which is founded by Joe the Boss, or Maseria, and the Charlie Lucky Luciano, and it was named after Vito Je Genovese. So, it was run for years by the Ad Father. Di ba may movie na The Ad Father? Alam nyo ba yun? So, Finsen and the Chin Gigante, who, who feigned is sanity. So, it appears to be the most organized among the five families. Genovese is the most organized family and remains powerful. Bakit siya naging most organized family? It is because of his strict adherence to the Code of Omerta. So, yun po ang ating five families. Then, we have this, si Joe, uh, Mr. Joe Valachi. Sino ba si Mr. Joe Valachi? The names of five families are attributed to mafia informant Joe Valachi. After his arrest in 1959, Valachi gave the police the names of the current bosses of the five families. Kasi nga, di ba, organized, uh, organized crime groups yan. So, hindi nila kilala sinong boss, hindi nila kilala kung paano sila nag-operate. Itong si Joe Valachi, nung nakuli siya nung, isang, uh, nung 1959, naging siyang parang ano, whistleblower. So, ang nangyari, sinabi niya lahat kung sino yung mga bosses ng five Five families na yan para ma-stop yung or ano nila uh, crime or illegal activities na ginagawa nila. So, these are the some mafia's traditional terminologies. We have the Capo di Tutti Capi. Capo di Tutti Capi stands for Boss of All Bosses. Again, Capo di Tutti Capi, the Boss of All Bosses. We also have the Capo di Capire. Capo di Capire. It means a title of respect. To a retired member, okay, it is a retired member. Parang kung sa ating mga soldiers, sinatawag natin veterans, ito, kapo di kapire, equivalent to being a member emeritus. Next, we have kapo krimine. Anong ibig sabihin naman ng kapo krimine? Kapo krimine, a crime boss, usually the head of crime family. Again, kapo krimine, the head of crime family. And also, we have the pikyoto. Ito, lumalabas sa board exam to. Pikyoto, or what we call the little man. A low-ranking member, usually not of Italian ancestry. So, hindi siya... Uh, Tawag dito, pinakamababa sa kanila, pinakamababang member ng mga mafia uh, is yung Pikyoto. Okay? And usually, hindi siya nag-originate talaga sa Italy. So, alam nyo, sa ano na yan, yung mga kanina, yung uh, sinabi nating five families na yan, yun ay galing sa Sicily, ba diba? Tapos, nag lang sila ng lagim sa New York, sa Amerika. Kaya siya naging Italian-American. Ngayon, sa uh, Italy, Italian, ano kasi, Italian uh, or uh, organized crime, hindi lang yun mag sa sa Sicilian. So, meron pa siyang, ano, uh, Camorra, Nadrangheta, Sacra Corona Unita. So, isa lang yon, isang ano lang yon, isang place, okay, kung saan merong organized crime. So, nauna nga natin yung sinabi si the Sicilian Mafia. Sabi nga natin, the Sicilian Mafia is the most powerful and most active Italian organized crime group in the US. So, yung kaninang discuss natin. So, it's also considered the second largest organization in the Italy. It specializes in anong specialization ng mga Sicilian Mafia? Heroin trafficking, political corruption, military arms trafficking. So, 
it also engages in frauds, counterfeiting, and other racketeering crimes. In Sicily, the term excellent cadaver, pag sinabi natin cadaver, di ba, a dead body, it is used to describe the assassination of prominent government officials. Okay, kapag sinabi lang excellent cadaver, ibig sabihin, nag-assassinate po sila ng isang prominent government officials. For example, kung isa sa mga prominent government official natin sa sa bansa ay sabihin si Duterte, so kapag pinatay nila yan, ang tawag doon is excellent cadaver. And it was known uh, na ginawa nila, ng, ginawa yun ng isang uh, member ng Sicilian Mafia. So again, these are the rituals na sinabi din nila kanina. Ito yung mga rituals na ginagawa nila para maging member ka ng the Sicilian Mafia among those five families. Okay? I-explain ko lang or elaborate ko lang sa iyo. So, the neophyte or yung bago, pag sinabing neophyte, yung bagong member, the neophyte is brought together with at least three men of honor. Okay? Meron three men of honor or yung mga members ng mga, ano na yan, mafia of the family. And the oldest member, yung pinakamatanda sa member na yun, okay, presents, warns himself that this house, parang ituturo niya, this house is meant to protect the weak against the abuse of the powerful. So, he then pricks the finger, Kunin yung finger niya, blood compact to. He then pricks the finger of the initiate and spill his blood into a sacred image. Okay, so yung bagong member, uh, tutusukin nila yung isang finger niya and then uh, yung blood niya kailangan pumatak doon sa isang sacred image na yan. Yung sacred image niya, usually gumagamit sila ng image ng isang santo. Okay, so or saint. So the image is placed in the hand of the initiate and lit on fire. Tapos susunugin. So, the neophyte must withstand the pain of the burning. Yan. Passing the image from one hand to another until the image has been consumed while swearing to keep faith with the principles of Cosa Nostra. Solemnly, solemnly swearing, may my flesh burn like this saint if I fail to keep my own. Nakita nyo? So, mangyari, parang ganito. So, ito yung ano, saint, ah, yung picture ng saint. So, nasa kamay niya yan. And then, papatakan niya ng dugo niya. Diba? So, tusukin yung kamay niya. Tapos, habang sumusunog yan, uh, yan uh, kailangan hayaan niya nasunog yan sa kamay. Nakuha niyo. So, ganito, diba? Ang mangyayari, tadalhin siya ng tatlong members, parang sa frat. Diba? Meron kayong mga initiation na tinatawag. Sila din, meron sila mga ganyang initiation. So, ang mangyayari, Dadalhin siya ng tatlong men of honor, dadalhin siya sa pinakamatandang membro nung ano na yan, grupo na yan. And then, ang gagawin nila, so, sasabihin nung matanda sa kanya, this house, sabi niya, is, uh, is meant to protect the weak against the abuse of the powerful. And then, kukuha rin yung, mga, yung isang daliri niya. And then, ipiprek yun hanggang sa papatakan niya ng dugo yung image. Yung image na yun, usually a saint. So, ang gagawin nun, after napatakan niya yung dugo, kukuha rin yung image, hahawakan niya sa kamay niya. Okay? Hanggang tapos sisindihan nila. So, masusunog yun sa kamay niya. So, habang nasusunog yun sa kamay niya, sinasabi niya, me, my flesh, burn like this, saint, if I fail to keep my oath. So, mangyayari, sabi niya, di ba, kung ang, uh, kapag now, ang yung oath niya is parang, di ba, nagtaksil siya or parang nagfail siya sa mission niya, is anong kapalit niya? Death. Nakakasunod po ba kayo? Do you follow? Okay, next. The Ten Commandments of the Sicilian Mafia. Merong Ten Commandments of the Sicilian Mafia. Sabi niya, no one can present himself directly to another of our friends. There must be a third person to do it. O, diba? Um, hindi mo pwedeng pakilala yung sarili mo. Kailangan merong magpapakilala sa'yo. Next. Never look at the vibes of friends. Never mong titingnan yung mga asawa ng, ano mo, ng mga kaibigan mo. Next, never be seen with cops, with cops or bawal kang makipag-associate sa mga police or bawal kang magpakita sa mga police. Don't go to pubs and clubs. Hindi sila pumupunta sa mga beer house ganyan or sa mga night clubs ganyan. Always being available for Cosa Nostra is a duty. Even your wife is about to give birth. So for example, pamimiliin ka pamilya or yung mem uh, yung membership mo sa Cosa Nostra, ang pipiliin mo is yung duty mo sa Cosa Nostra kahit na kahit na daw na manganganak yung asawa mo. Next, appointments must absolutely be respected. Ano man yung duty na ibinigay mo, hindi wala hang karapatang magreklamo. Susundin mo lang 'yan. Next, Next, wives must be treated with respect. So, 
Yun na respeto mo naman yung asawa mo. So, when asked for any information, the answer must be the truth. Kapag tinatanong ka, within the uh, members of the Sicilian Mafia, kailangan yung totoo lang ang sasabihin mo. Money cannot be appropriated if it belongs to other or to the other families. Pag ang usapan na ang pami ay pera, okay? So, dapat... Um, Wala kang, kasi di ba may respeto sila sa mga pamilya-pamilya. For example, bigyan ko ng example ha, para hindi kayo na dito. O, si Dizon, si Castro, si Samuel John de Leon is member ng mafia. Lahat naman niya may mga pamilya, di ba? May mga pamilya. Kapag usapang pera na, okay, hindi mo pwede pakailaman yung pera ng ibang pamilya. Kasi nga di ba, ang unang pinaka-foundation uh, nito, ang foundation ng grupo nila is respect. Next, people who cannot be part of Cosa Nostra, okay, anyone who has close relative in the police, anyone with a two-timing relative in the family, anyone who behaves badly and doesn't hold to moral values, ang ginagawa po dyan is, okay, ganito. For example, si Joey Boy de la Cruz, gusto niyong sumali dito sa Sicilian Mafia na member na sila, Dizon Castro and Samuel Jan de Leon. Gusto niya sumali si Joey Boy de la Cruz. Pero, nung tinignan yung buhay ni Joey Boy de la Cruz, eh, yung kapatid niya, member ng police. Yung isa sa mga, ano niya, um, tawag dito, uh, walang moral values. So, ang mangyari nun, hindi siya i-allow na maging member ng isang Sicilian Mafia. Again, those are the Ten Commandments of the Sicilian Mafia. Next, another from Sicilian Mafia, meron pang another organiz organized crime or organized crime group sa, sa Italy. We have the Camorra or Neapolitan Mafia, Nandrangheta or Calabrian Mafia, and the last one is the Sacra Corona Unita. Umpisahan mo muna dito sa Camorra or Neapolitan Mafia. The Camorra or Neapolitan Mafia, Camorra means gang. Gang po, gang. It first appeared in Naples, Italy as a prison gang and it is continued to grow in number. It is now, okay, the largest of the Italian organized crime group. Kaya nga, di ba, kanina, if mari, na, 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 narinig nyo dun sa sinabi ko, the Sicilian Mafia was just considered as the second largest group sa ating uh, Italian, Italian organized crime group. Kasi ang pinakamalaki na sa kanila is si Camorra or si Camorra or Neapolitan Mafia. Okay? Which is known as Prison Gang. Yan ang largest Italian organized crime group na. And then we also have Nandrangheta or Calabrian Mafia. Nandrangheta is the Greek word meaning of courage or loyalty. Again, when we say Nandrangheta, Greek word meaning courage or loyalty, it was warm and some Sicilians were banished by the Italian government to Calabria and there they formed small criminal groups as known as loosely connected family groups based on blood relationships and marriages. So, ang ginagawa ng mga endrangheta na to, especia ang specialization nila is kidnapping, political corruption, drug trafficking, murder, bombings, counterfeiting, okay? Gambling, fraud, steps, labor racketeering, loan sharking, and alien smuggling. Next, Sacra Corona Unita, the last uh, uh, organized criminal group in the in the Italy. It is based on the southeast southeastern region of Puglia and it also started as a prison gang. So kapulad ng Camorra, ang Sacra Corona Unita, okay, nag-start din siya na as prison gang. It has links with the other mafia groups as they collect from the smugglers landing rights on the southeast coast of Italy. So it specializes in smuggling cigarettes, drugs, arms and people, money, laundering, extortion and political corruption. Next, can we have now the Russian mafia? Sino ang reporter natin sa Russian Mafia? Ma'am, sinad po namin sa message yung link po ng YouTube. Ah, so, okay, sige. Wait lang, ha? I brought by one of the biggest and most powerful or yung uh, nagbuo ng Nakikita niyo ba siya? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yes, po. Group na yun is si Soltskevskaya brought by one of the biggest and most powerful criminal group na nakalocate sa Russia. It was established during 1980. Tapos yung nag-establish or yung uh, nagbuo ng group na yun is si Sergei Mikhailov. Kung mapapansin nyo doon sa second slide, 
meron mga grupo ng mga lalaki eh, na picture ng grupo ng mga lalaki eh. yung nakaupo doon na nakakulay brown yung coat siya si Sir J. Mikhailov Sir J. Mikhailov is a former waiter na nakonvict din siya dahil sa kasong fraud uh, yung mga member nila yung mga kinukuha nila is yung mga unemployed at saka yung mga aggressive young men kaya nila kinukuha yung mga aggressive young men kasi sila yung mga frontliner nila or sila yung uh, pinaka nag execute ng criminal act nila at uh, Oo nga pala yung tawag dun sa leader nila is Pakhan. Tapos meron na din silang 5,000 members. The characteristic of Russian organized crime are the systematic use of violence including both threat and use of force. Pamumwersa o pagpipisikal sa isang miyembro. So number two, hierarchical structure. Dito ang matataas na uh, nauutos or sa isang miyembro. Uh, sila ang tauhan lang gumagalaw. Sa so, number 3 is limited or exclusive membership. Dito, limitado lang ang pwedeng sumali. At uh, pwedeng sumali ibang tao pero limitado lang. Sa so, number 4 is specialization in types of crime and division of labor. Dito naman, yung kung saan ka magaling, kung saan ka mas hustler sa gawain, dun ka irereto or itoto ka. Sa so, number 5 naman is military style discipline with the strict rules and regulation of for the organization as whole. Ito naman, pinapakita yung pagiging uh, disiplinado at uh, kaya na sundalo or maigpita patakaran sa isang organisasyon. Ito naman, yung sa number 6 naman is possession of high-tech equipment including military weapons. Dito may sarili silang uh, kag kagamitan o weapon sa uh, nakatulad ng isang military pero mas maganda ang kalidad at uh, mas high tech pa kaysa isang military uh, equipment. Activities nila or yung mga criminal activities nilang ginagawa. Yung una is yung human trafficking. Yung human trafficking is yung pangalakal ng tao. Racketeering is dis uh, dishonest and prudent business dealings. Next is drug trafficking, yung pang pangalakal ng droga extortion, pangingikil, murder is pagpatay, robbery is pagnanakaw, armed trafficking is smuggling, smuggling of weapons, illegal gambling or illegal na pagsusugal, process, process, prostitutions is yung sexual intercourse for money, arson is setting fire to someone's property, Biberis is yung suhol. Money laundering is yung dirty money. Fraud is panluloko. Fina financial crime is, is a type of crime that committed against property. Ang Russian organized crime, ngayon lang tulad sa isang fraternity, may three steps silang pinapatupad sa kanilang miyembro para malagpasan ang pagsubok. Ngunit bago yun, kailangan muna nilang makatikim ng isang masakit na palo. Ginagawa din nila ang labanan mula sa isang miyembro ng Brat Bag Group na ang layunin naman ng mga ito ay masubukan ng iyong talino at diskarte sa pagsubok na binigay nila sa iyo. Pauna ang makapagpatunog ng kampana upang makalagpas sa pagsubok. Kung ikaw man ay papalaring panalo, ikaw ay pasado. Pero kung ikaw ay matatalo, ikaw naman ay kanilang papatayin. Parang yung culture nila, Bago ka maka, makarating dun sa gusto mo, kailangan mo muna ang paghirapan, ganun. Ang pangalawang initiation na ginagawa ng Brasva, bago makapasok, uh, sinusulatan nila to gam sa likod gamit daw yung kutsilyo. Dahil daw, titingnan nila kung gano'n ba nga katiwala yung pumapasok na hindi siya papatayin. At gano'n ba daw siya kadisid, ka kayang tisin yung, yung sakit na yun. Kasi nagpapakita yun ng bisidido ka talaga pumasok at mag party ng miyembro. Tapos, sa pangalawa naman, bibigyan ka nila daw ng ano, uh, isang trabaho na dapat mong gawin. Dito, titignan nila yung pagiging ano mo, yung pagkakataon na may pakita mo kung gaano ang kagaling or ano ba may ambag mong maayos sa kanilang grupo. Dito dapat mabigyan mo sila ng assurance na magtitiwala sa'yo at, at um, 
mapabilib sila. Kasi, doon nila titignan talaga lahat. The symbol of organization is a tattoo of a black sun. What is a black sun? Black sun is a symbol used by a number of historical and contemporary nationalist movement in the Europe. Black sun is referred by the name of the organization. Solstevskaya would refer to the district of Solstevo. Solstevo means Sun City, which may mirror Star City since the sun is also a star. Okay. So, ang didiscuss nyo is yung isang ano lang, no? Organized crime group. Okay. So, ganito. So, didiscuss ko lang or ilaelaborate ko lang. Ito, nakita nyo ba yung aking, ano, PowerPoint? Okay. Kita nyo na ba yung PowerPoint ko? Yes, ma'am. Yes, po. Okay, ayan. So, tama naman, tama po yung ginawa nila kasi si, yung, yung tinatawag nilang si Solon, hindi po Solon. Hindi ko alam, ang hirap talaga ng mga pronunciation na ito, hindi ko rin alam kung tama ang pronunciation ko. Son Sebastia, brat siya. Okay, it is considered the most powerful OCG in the world and the most dangerous operating in Moscow. So, lahat ng kinuwento nila about Son Sebastia is tama po. Again, Russian Mafia. So, the Russian Mafia or Red Mob, ang tawag sa kanila ha, Red Mob or Bratva, slang for brotherhood. Again, Bratva is a slang for brotherhood. It is during the economic disaster just after all the fall of USSR or the Russians, were desperate for money. Diba natalo ang Russians noon? Diba nagkaroon ng war? So, Russians were desperate for money that many former government workers turned to crime. So, former KGB agents. Sino yung mga KGB na to? KGB is an intelligence agency group sa, Ra sa Russia. So, the former KGB agents, sportsmen, and veteran of the Afghan and Chechen wars now finding themselves with no work but with experience in areas that could prove useful in crime. So, during the increasing crime wave, so widespread corruptions, poverty, and distrust of the authorities only contributed to the rise of the organized crime. So, ang nangyari kasi sa Russian Mafia, dati wala silang organized crime, pero dahil natalo sila, so yung mga government officials, di ba, nakukulangan sila sa sahod. So, dahil nga nakatrain naman sila kung pa meron silang enough knowledge on how to operate the crime. So, yung mga dating government official, lalo na mga agents sa mga yung mga agents na mga intelligence agency nila, eh nagsig ang nangyari, sila yung mismong nag-organize ng mga organized criminal group sa Russia. So, number one nga dyan is si, si Sol Sebastia Bratva, which is yung diniscuss nila. So, sa kanila, it is considered sa buong mundo ha, it is considered the most powerful OCG in the world and the most dangerous operating in Moscow. Again, sa buong mundo, Son Sebastia Bratva is the most powerful organized criminal group in the whole world. Okay, we have also the Dolgo Prudentinensia Bratva. Ito naman, a very influential OCG and considered the largest OCG naman in Moscow. So, ito naman yung pinakamalaki. Next naman, sa, sa Moscow lang or sa Russia lang, ha? Hindi po sa buong mundo. So, ito naman, number three, we have Ismailos, Ismailovskaya Bratva. Ito naman ang pinaka-oldest. It is the oldest of the Russian mafia groups that utilize the quasi-military ranks and strict internal discipline. It was involved in murder for hire, extortion, and infiltration of legitimate business. Again, among the Russian group, yun ang pinakamatanda sa kanila. Then, we'll, have, we'll also have the Obshina or Chechen Mafia. Diba? Obshina or Chechen Mafia. It was the formid formidable OCG and paramilitary group that once formed the most dominant minority criminal group in Russia naman. It has beliefs that it has ties with the Chechen militant functions. Also, we have the Lubertsi, okay? a criminal group again, again sa Russia, which is very nationalistic naman, so that the group beats up anyone who is seen as counterculture. And also, the last one, we, we also have the Sonsevo, a criminal group in Russia that runs slot machines and taxi rings. Okay? Ang trabaho naman ng mga to, or yung illegal activities nila, is slot machines and taxi rings. Next. 
We have the Russian Mafia and the Vori Visa Cone. So, Russian Mafia and the Vori Visa Cone. So, the term used refer to the collective various organized crime elements originating in the former Soviet Union. So, the term, ayan, Vori Visa Cone, ayan, the term thief in law might be closely translated as thief fa who follows the law. Again, thief who follows the law. Figuratively referring to criminal who obeys the thieves' codes. So, ibig sabihin, sila yung mga magnanakaw na merong sinusundang sariling batas kung paano magnakaw. Nakawa? The members are bound by 18 codes and if they are broken, the transgression is punishable by death. So, merong 18 codes itong mga magnanakaw na to. Okay? That they should follow when they are, syempre, nag, uh, nagkakaroon ng operations. Thieves code nila. And kapag nagkaroon sila ng parang pagtataksil or nagkamali sila, ang, pan, ang punishment nila, again, it is death. Next. So, the Russian Mafia and the Vori Visecone, this is the Sicilian counterpart. It is linked to territoriality, based provision of protection services and to alliance between upper world and the underworld. Vori Visa Cone stands for Thieves with the Code of Honor. So, ito yung mga magnanakaw. Professional na magnanakaw, sabi nga natin. Vori Visa Cone. Thieves with the Code of Honor. Developed among hardcore prison camps, inmates, and organized into tight networks. So, the Russian Mafia and the Vori Visa Cone organizational PAKAN Kung sa, sa Italy ang tawag nila is capo sa mga boss, pakan naman po ang tawag nila sa boss ng isang criminal cell. Kasi nga, di ba, this uh, uh, organizational uh, crime group sa Russia, eh, nag -start, yung iba nag-start naman sa, sa prison. So, pakan, the boss in criminal cells. They also have the brigadier, the intermediary uh, of the boss, or parang yung uh, katumbas niya is yung consigliere, yung parang secretary. Then, meron silang spies. Okay, watch over the action of the brigadier, ensure loyalty, and the ones he does not get too powerful. And then we also have criminal cells. Okay, uh, criminal cells, these are the specific cells for committing crimes. Mexican Mafia, though wala naman to sa ano nyo, sa ta, uh, ano, insert na natin, mabilisan lang. So, Mexican Mafia, also known as La M or the Spanish for M, for the M. Mexican Mafia, ang tawag sa kanila is La M. The most powerful gang within the California prison system, it is the La M. So, criminal activities, ito ang criminal activities ng Mex Mex Mexican Mafia, homosexual prostitution. Diba, na, kung naalala nyo, sa Italian naman, wala silang, isa sa mga 10 codes nila, is bawal silang magkaroon ng homosexual, diba? Ito naman, ang criminal activities nila is homosexual prostitution, contract killing's main source of income is extorting, drug distributors outside prison, and distributing various narcotics within the outside the prison system. Okay, the... Mexican Mafia are comprised of Mexican-American convicts and ex-convicts from barrios of East Los Angeles and they have known as Blood In and Blood Out. So, by the mid-1960s, mid they assumed control over the prison heroin tracking and other inmate activities and in 1996, it moved out its operation outside the prison. So, sa prison din sila nag-originate. Then, these are the rules according to the L42 or LM. Diba? We have the stitching, cowardly, no fighting among members, disrespecting, stealing, and interfering. Now, let's move with the China Organized Criminal Group. China Organized Criminal Group. Nasaan po sila? Sino yung magpipresent nito? Kami po, ma'am. Sinend ko po sa inyo. Po. Ah, okay. Yung... Sige, sige. Tignan natin. Yes, ma'am. Yung topic po namin is Chinese organized crime po siya. So, ayan. Bago pa man dumami yung mga Chinese organized crimes, nagkaroon muna sila ng triad. Yung tinatawag na ng triad. According to the legend of the first triad were founded by the Chinese monks committed to fighting injustice. Roots found in centuries old secret societies that way back in 1000 BC. So as you can see naman dyan sa picture dyan sa baba, makikita nyo na meron silang parang sign or logo ng uh, tinatawag nilang triad logo. 
over time, over time, this groups become so politically powerful. Parang naging mas makapanyarihan po sila. Kasi, um, alam mo, yung pong kaya nilang mag uh, prop up or bring down emperors at their whim. Tapos, in the 18th centuries, um, nakipag transact na sila sa mga foreign countries. So, mas naging bigger pa yung ano nila, yung groups nila. Uh, the triad are tribal, like organization that follow a strict Confucian code of ethics in which elder are respected. Parang ginagalang po nila yung mga mas nakakatanda, mga ganun. Kahit na nasa gang na sila, ganun. So, in romanticized, romanticized Asian films, uh, the triad have a secret secret sign, exotic code um, names, and secret tattoos. So, ayan, makikita nyo din sa picture dyan, napapakita namin na meron silang mga secret tattoo, mga ganon. From Mountain Master, drag, the Dragon Leader, to Vanguard, Vanguard Operations Officer, Deputy Master, the, Deputy, Deputy Mountain Master is the Deputy. And, and Incense Master, ceremonies officer to administrator to the enforcer and to the liaison officer liaison and the 49ers the or the, or the ordinary members and the last but not the least is the blue lanterns and initiated members Chinese groups is a triad which is the Fuji is the dangerous place because in 1700s they are more recruiting more groups parang sa atin din diba kapag sa mga frat na ka tinatawag nila ng frat uh, diba bago ka maging member ng isang frat kailangan may mga pagdadaanan ka muna ng step by step na kung saan makikita nila yung loyalty mo dun sa group na sinasalian mo may mga papagawa sila ipapadal ka nila ganyan Katulad ng dangerous place sa China na kung saan yung mga nare-recruit nila, tinuturoan nila ng martial arts or kung po, hindi lang para sa kanilang pasariling siguridad, kundi rin para sa protection ng mga kanilang mga kasama. Kung baga, para maging members sila ng kanilang gang or sindika, sindicate man yan, kailangan muna nilang pagdaanan yon para makita nila yung loyalty ng mga member nila. Meron pa nga doon, may mga ritual sila na ginagawa para maging member ka na lang kanilang grupo. Chinese well-known criminal activities, uh, yung triads, yung isa sa mga sikat na Chinese criminal groups. Uh, in, uh, engage sila sa mga fraud, extortion, money laundering, uh, trafficking, prostitution. Uh, involved din sila sa mga smuggling, counterfeiting goods such as music, video, software, uh, clothes, watches, and money. Yun, mga binibentang mura sa market. Uh, alam natin na sikat din yung mga Chinese criminal, organized criminal groups sa mga drug trafficking. Yun, mga drugs, uh, lalo na dito sa Pinas, yung mga drugs halos nang gagaling lahat sa China. Tsaka yung mga drug lords na nanghuli is mga Chinese national. Uh, sikat din sila sa counterfeiting ng mga money, yung mga peking pera. Yan. Na hanggang ngayon, nag-exist pa din yung mga yun kasi yun nga, continuous. Ang Chinese organized crime, o kilala bilang isang triad. Tinatawag din nila itong black society, hindi dahil may timang kanilang kulay, kundi dahil kundi dahil may involved sila sa arm robbery, Rocketing, human trafficking, drug trafficking, kilala din sila bilang isang mayaman na grupo. May isa silang miyembro na may 40,000 na alagad, tinatawag nila itong Sun Yi On o kilala bilang isang Dragonhead. Okay. Hello? So, papaliwanag ko lang. Tama naman ang sinabi nila. Kita nyo na ba yung PowerPoint ko? Yes po. Okay. Yes. 
Yes, so, i-elaborate ko lang kung ano ang China Organized Criminal Groups. Anyway, nag-exit na tayo na sa one hour. Okay, again, if someone sa, sa inyo is nag-data lang as nahihirapan mag-connect, pwede naman kayong mag-clip. Sabi ko nga kasi recorded, recorded naman tong discussion na to. So, if you have any time na para ma, uh, panoorin na lang siya and tsaka nyo na lang siya panoorin. Okay po, again, if you can leave kung gusto nyo. So, doon sa mga nahihirapan, lalo na yung mga nakadita lang. So, para kung wala akong marireceive na nagre-report, ma'am, nag-exit kami ng 1 hour. Okay po? So, kaya lang naman ganito, kaya siya napahaba, kasi nga, eh, nagkaroon tayo ng technical problems kanina, and also, para magbigay ko lang sa inyo yung complete na uh, organized criminal groups around the world. Kasi nga, hindi tayo sure kung ano yung magiging exam natin. Kung departmentalize yan, kung hindi kompleto ang ibibigay ko sa inyong... Uh, discussion, eh, malamang sa malamang kung di ako yung gagawa ng exam, baka may na-discuss sila na hindi ko na-discuss. So, I just made it possible na ikompleto lahat ng uh, organized criminal groups na nasa syllabus. Okay? So, let's start with the China organized criminal groups. Okay? Gang Striad. So, it is work in cooper uh, it works in cooperative ventures involving black market activities. Kaya tinawag siya kanina the black one. Hindi dahil black nga daw yung dugo nila. Burglaries and thefts, hijackings and extortion. So, criminal syndicates. So, it commonly involved in a sophisticated crimes such as the prostitutions, human trafficking and other organized form of um Organized form of both are involved in the drug trafficking, particularly of heroin from the Golden Triangle, as well as exploitation of women and children and smuggling of illegal immigrant vices. So, ito, ito yung the triad, or the organa, uh, the dragon syndicates. Ano ba yung dragon syndicates? It is the another name for Chinese triads. Again, dragon syndicate, it is just another name for Chinese triads. A name popularized by Martin Boots, much acclaimed the Dragon Sidic. Ah, pinag-aralan kasi to ni Martin Boots, and ah, ito yung study niya. The Dragon Sidicates, the global phenomenon of the triads. Then the triad came from the symbolic triangle in their flag, okay, which indicates three elements: the heaven, the earth, and the man. Again, the triad came from the symbolic triangle flag, which is the heaven, the earth, and the man. So, kailan ba nag-start itong ano, Chinese Triad? So, Chinese Triad started as a resistance to the Manchu Emperor of the Qing Dynasty. So, si Manchu, as an emperor ng Qing Dynasty, parang ayaw nila pamamalaka nila. Triad is a term that describes many branches of Chinese underground society of organizations based on Taiwan, Hong Kong, Singapore, Malaysia, and other places where there is a significant Chinese population. So, di ba ang China naman, kahit saan meron, kahit nga dito, puro na tayo Chinese eh. So, their activities include car theft, contract killing, drug trafficking, extortion, money laundering, gambling, prostitutions, and racketeering. So, the major source of the triad's income today comes from the counterfeiting. Ayun nga, yung pamimeke ng pera. O, hanggang ngayon naman, di ba, sinasabi natin, China, fake. Diba? Kilala sila sa ganyan. Oh, counterfeiting of copyrighted and trademark goods such as clothing, coins, computer software, money, handbags, music, CDs, watches, and movies, VCDs, and DVDs. They also trade in endangered species initiation. So, until today, ganyan pa rin ang uh, ginagawa nila. Um, nagkakaroon sila ng... Um, kapi uh, pirata namimirata sila de ba so a ceremony will take place at an altar dedicated to Guan Yu again a ceremony will take place ito yung paano sila magano paano sila magmember ito naman paano sila magtatry na sumale sa isang tryan so a ceremony will take place an altar dedicated to Guan Yu sino ba si Guan Yu Guan Yu is the Taoist god the uh, god of brotherhood uh, with incense smoke and the sacrifice of an animal, usually a pig, chicken or goat, after drinking a potion of wine and the blood of the animal or of the candidate, he will pass beneath an arch of swords while reciting the triad oath. So, anong nangyari? So, yung isang tao na mag, uh, tawag dito, mag, gusto maging member ng triad, dadalhin nila dun sa, dun sa altar na kung saan nandun yung si Guan Yu. 
the ta Taoists of God of Brotherhood. So, with incense smoke, di ba, kilala yung mga Chinese sa incense, and the sacrifice of an animal. So, magdadala sila ng incense, and then an another, an uh, isang animal, parang alay nila. After drinking a potion of wine, tapos pati yung blood of animal, inumin nila, di ba? Or of the candidate, he will pass beneath the Ark of Swords. So, kukunin yung Ark of Swords while reciting the Triad Oaths. So, the paper on which the oaths are written will then be burned on the altar. So, to confirm the duty of the member to perform his duty to the gods, and three fingers of the left hand will, will then be raised as a binding uh, gesture. So, tongs. Tongs originated among early marginalized Chinatown diba? communities to protect themselves from the natives, but because it had no political motives, they soon found themselves involved in criminal activities like extortion, gambling, human trafficking, murder, and prostitution. So, recently, however, they become civic-minded organization. So, ganun sila sumasali sa isang Chinese triad. So, triads, again, some of many branches of Chinese tradition, transnational organized crime organization. It is originally part of revolutionary, revolutionary movements such as White Lotus Society, uh, Tay uh, Tay Ping Rebellion, the Boxer Rebellion, and the Heaven and Earth Society. So, ito then it is most well known in Hong Kong, Macau, and China. Again, alam na natin tong Dragon Heads. Sometimes they are called as Dragon Heads, as if it uh, it is tawag dito represented as the man, heaven, earth, and society. Ito yun. Then, ito. Triads, okay, this type of organized criminal groups are highly skilled in martial arts. Magaling po sila sa martial arts. Okay, and therefore, police officers, special unit created in combating organized crimes. It must be more than physically fit. So, there is a necessity for skills in various martial arts techniques. This shall serve as recreation and activity among its members. O nga po pala, uh, just a reminder, hindi ko po i-upload itong PowerPoint na to. Okay, so, required kayong panoorin na lang itong discussion. Next. So, triads, the most powerful and largest triad is the Sunyi On. Again, the most powerful and largest triad is the Sun Yi On. Among the Chinese triads, okay, Sun Yi On, headed by Kung Sen Yu An. So, it is the new righteousness and peace commercial and industrial guild. Ito yung ano nila, ito yung pinaka symbol. So, illegal activities, counterfeiting, gambling, narcotics, human trafficking, prostitution, smuggling, and extortion. So, Hong Kong naman. Sa Hong Kong criminal groups, okay, we also have sa Washing Wo and 14K. So, the second and third largest triad gangs in Hong Kong where their activities are again, para-pareho lang naman, drug trafficking, corruption, and other crimes. So, Washing Wo and 14K. And do you know that Hong Kong criminal groups Washing Wo and 14K are allied with Abu Sayyaf? Okay po, allied sila with Abu Sayyaf. Next, Japanese gangs. Sino ang naka-ano dito? Sino ang naka-assign? Kikita nyo ba siya? Yes po, ma'am. Okay, start natin. Um. Japanese organized crime group. Let's talk about Yakuza. Ang Yakuza ay pinaniniwalaang nagmula sa Kabuki Mono group ng mga samurai in feudal Japan. Kabuki Mono means crazy one or crazy thing. Pinaniniwalaan na binubuo ito ng mga ronin, samurai, na naglilingkod sa pamilya ng samurai. Yakuza is originated from Japan. Kung baga sa mga organized crime group, ito ay ang tinatawag na mafia ng Japan. Yakuza is also known as Gokodu, which means extreme path or ultimate path. The common characteristic of Yakuza, hierarchical structure. Kapag sinabing hierarchical structure, yun yung may boss or set of people and function na may set of goals. Most influential and most powerful organized crime group in Japan. Um, they operated openly yung naano pa sila sa mga magazine or newspaper. Involves in exploitation of women, prostitution, drug trafficking, gambling, or bribery. Yun yung malaki hang crime ng na ginagawa ng gang nila. Member dress conservatively and flashes their tattoos 
and when the need arises. Yung saon ng mga member nila is yung pang business attire, formal, ganun. Tapos, pag pinakita na yung tato nila, yun yung dead giveaway or dead signal na maaaring may mangyari masama na, ganun. Yaksa, ngid sa variety in a serious criminal activities including weapons trafficking, prostitutional, woman trafficking, drug trafficking, fraud and money laundering. These are the common activities in Japan like extortion, loan sharking and pro protection rackets are also common yakuza activities in Japan. O sa ritual, um, una dito yung Yubitsumi. Parang ito yung isa sa ritual nila yung kunwari nakagawa ka ng isang kahihiyan or hindi nagustuhan ng boss mo yung ginawa mo. Puputulin nila yung hinliliit mo tapos yung magpuputol nun isa sa member ng Yakuza. Tapos pagkaputol nun ibibigay ngayon dun sa may pinaka boss. Parang yun yung pinaka form ng penalty nila. Parang yung mga pagputol na yung daliri, daliri nila ang um, ginagamit nila yung mga artificial na daliri second, irizumi is a hand of fully body tattoo for the members through handmade um, parang ano to yung matagal bago matapos yung mayroon yung kahulugan pero hindi kasi parang sila lang yung nakakaalam kunwari member ka dun ikaw lang yung nakakaalam dun parang culture nila. Spearlings. Ito ay yung ito yung paglalagay ng bolitas ng genital area kung saan ang kahulugan nito. Kada isang bolitas, isang ta katumbas na yung isang taong pagkakakulong mo. Last, Oichukabu, Japanese card game. Yung mga Yakuza kasi, mahilig din sa card game. Ngayon, parang ito din yung paraan nila para ma-display nila yung yung mga tato nila kasi sa pag sa publiko hindi sila na hindi sila na susuot ng maikli parang ma mahaba yung sinusuot nila para maitago nila yung tato nila para hindi sila ma malaman or hindi malaman ng ibang tao na member sila ng Yakuza Okay So yun na yun no Hello Hello po. Ay, nakita niyo ba yung PowerPoint po, ko? Japanese gangs? Yes, ma'am. Yes, okay, po. ayan. Yes, so, if a further elaborate ko lang. So, Japanese gang, so it is the most well-known type of criminal organization in Japan is called the Boryukudan or yung Yakuza nga. So, Boryukudan originated mainly from habitual gamblers called Bakuto. Okay? Bakuto. Stall operators called Teen Tekiya. So, who operated the er in early 17th century. So, the boss of this organization is in the highest position, has several followers, each of whom is the boss of secondary level and so on. So, the, there are tribute system in which organization pays money to the higher organization that its boss belongs to. So, in 2007, okay po, the most active Boryukudan in Japan were Rokodaime Yamuchi, Yamaguchi Gumi, about 20,400 in strength. And they, they also have this Sumiyo Shikai, about 6,100 in strength. And the last one, we have the Inagawa Kai, which is 4,800 in strength. Ganon sila kadami. So, Yakuza, the masterless of samurai, the good for nothing. So, the most influential sa so Japan talaga, ang pinakilalang organized criminal groups is yung Yakuza. So, the most influential OC in Japan. Boryukudan means violent groups. Again, when you encounter the word Boryudukan, it means violent groups. Yakuza calls themselves Ninkyo Dantai. Ibig sabihin, Chivalrous organization, Ninkyo Dantai. So, Yakuza or Gokudo, it, it, its name was originated from Japanese card game or Chukabu. Again, yung Gokudo na yan, or tinatawag nilang Boryukudan, or Boryudukan, okay, ganyan. Is, uh, nag originate siya sa Japanese card game na Oichukabu. What is Oichukabu? It is a card game which is means Yakuza. It represents the number 8, 9, and 3. 
Okay po? 8, 9, and 3. The total is 20. A useless numbers. That means also a bad fortune for the bad player. Yun talaga ang meaning ng Yakuza. 8, 9, 3. Okay? Useless numbers. That means also a bad fortune for the player. So, again, diba? Uh, Yakuza is known as Boryodukan and also known as Gokudu. Okay? And Japanese old card game, we have the, also have the Dichokabu, adding cards as close as 19 without exceeding. Next, so ito yung ang mga ano nila, organizational uh, structure. They have the Oyabun. Ito yung family boss. Then, they have this Psycho Common, the administration. We ha they have Wakagashira, the first lieutenant. And Shaitegashira, the second lieutenant. And then, itong si Psycho Common, under niya, meron siyang law advisor and accountants. Yung law advisor niya, ang pang pangalan ay Shingin. Yung namang accountant niya ay si Kai K. Sa Wakagashira and Shatagishira, the first lieutenant and second lieutenant, meron silang mga big brothers, ang tawag sa kanila ay Kyodai, at yung mga little brothers nila ay tawag ay Shate. Okay, Shate. Next. So, the another traditional Japanese hierarchical structure of Oyabun Kobun. Okay, Oyabun, it means the foster parent. Kobun naman, it is the foster child. Jingi, ang ibig sabihin naman po ng Jingi, justice and duty, where loyalty and respect is a way of life. So, take note, members of Yakuza groups cut their family ties and transfer their loyalty to the gang boss. Okay, ganyan ang ating mga Yakuza. Once they, uh, uh, they are mem uh, naging members sila ng Yakuza, pinuputo nila yung family ties nila and loyalty nila is mapupunta na sa gang boss. Next, so the following are some characteristics of Yakuza. So, ito. Members usually wear sunglasses, okay? And colorful suits so that their profession could be immediately recognized by civilians. So, members walk arrogantly with white gates. So, mayabang silang maglakad habang nakasalamin. Para silang opagang ng style, di ba? Members drives conservatively and flash their tattoos only when the need arises. Di ba, nakatato sila, pero hindi po nila yan pinapakita. Okay? Pinapakita lang nila yung uh, tato sila kapag kailangan. So, some sport of Isinia pins on their lapel. So, majority of their income comes from the protection of rockets in shopping, uh, entertainment, and red light districts within their territory due to the reluctance of the boat business and the police. So, the Yakuza is regarded as the semi-legitimate organization just after the Kobe's earthquake. And then, we also have many Yakuza regarded their income as hassle as collection of feudal tax. And, ano pa ba? Yakuza is heavily involved in sex-related industries like smuggling, uncensored pornography. Diba? And, Sokaiya. Sokaiya is a unique form of extortion wherein the Yakuza, their protection and rock racket, they harass the stockholders meeting of a large corporation instead of harassing small business. That is Sokaiya. So, what are the rituals? Na-discuss din to kanina, nakita ko. They have yubitsume. Ano yung yubitsume? Kapag nakagawa ka ng uh, offense within your group dun sa Yakuza, the first offense, the transgressor must cut off the tip of his left little finger. So, puputulin yung, ano nila, yung kaliwang hiniliit na daliri. And the hand is a third portion to the boss as a form of penance or apology. So, yun ang, ang hirap magkas magkasala sa kanila, no? Puputulin ng yung daliring maliit, no? So, sometimes, the underboss may do to himself as to spare a member of his gang. Minsan, ang ginagawa nila, okay, uh, kanwari, Meron silang underboss, di ba? Yung na mismong sa family na yun. Ang gagawin niya, para lang, sumore, kabaguhan pa lang yun. Minsan, meron silang yung parang sub mong muna ako. Parang in the protection of that, yung merong isang aako, pwede po yun. Next, irezumi. What is irezumi? It is a hand poke full body tattoos for the members through handmade and handheld tools with needles of sharpened bamboo or steel. So, kaya madami ang, alam na alam mong Yakuza members sila kasi yung body nila is, ano, uh, full of tattoos. Actually, merong ano dyan, merong isang forensic chemist yata siya. Pinag-aralan niya yung, ano, binayaran niya yung mga members ng Yakuza. Tapos, pinag-aralan niya yung, ano, uh, human body ng Yakuza. Nilagay niya as parang totoo na ano na uh, human body flesh so, meron ganun next pearlings ito namang pearlings na to one pearl is inserted to the skin of the penis or parang bulitas of the member for every year in prison next they also have oichukabu 
what is Orchu Kabo naman, okay? The members, whenever they play this ga the card game, are given the chance to display their tattoos. Kapag naglalaro sila ng Orchu Kabo, di ba yung card game kanina, yung 8, 9, 3, pag pinag-add nila, yan. So, the, they're given the chance to display their tattoos to other members as they normally keep them concealed with a long sleeve and high neck shirts. So, sake sharing ceremony. What is this naman? So, it is used to seal bonds of brotherhood between individual Yakuza members of groups. So, these are the principal families. We also have the Yamaguchi Gumi, Sumiyishi Rengo, Inagawa Kai, and Toya Uy Jigyo Kumiyao. Yamaguchi Gumi, okay, it has a... It's at the quarters in Kobe and its biggest Yakuza family. So, sa lahat ng Yakuza family, Yamaguchi Gumi po ang pinakamalaki sa kanila. Then, they also have Sumiyishi Rengo. It is the confederation of smaller Yakuza groups and is the second largest in the Yakuza family. We also have this Inagawa Kai. It is based in Tokyo and Yokohama and is the first to expand membership outside Japan and is the third largest Yakuza family in Japan. And the last one, we have the Toyo Yuwa Jigyo Kumiai. It is one of the most influential Yakuza groups in Tokyo that is composed of Yakuza members of the Korean origin. Note, sabi niya, take note. Presently, the Yakuza call themselves as modern-day samurai na po. Modern day samurai. So, nowadays, so, the tattooing indicates their ability to withstand pains and commitment to Yakuza life. Yun ang uh, simbol, uh, nagsisimbol kung bakit sila maraming tattoo. And the signation or expulsion is accomplished through red letter, homocho, to all members of the Baryokudan, which is a sign of being no longer of a part of a group. So, nilalagyan nila ng red letter, homocho. Ibig sabihin, pag nareceive mo yung red letter na yan, hindi ka na member ng Yakuza. Okay, before we go the Philippine OCG, tap, di ba meron pang three groups na natitira? Okay, ganito. Makinig muna po kayo, ha? 